Hello and welcome to this Dr Ross Mouse key skill video on finding the area of a sector of a circle. What do we mean by a sector? Well if we have a whole circle like this then a sector is just a slice of that circle. You can imagine a, a slice of pizza. So that would be a sector. Now we want to find the area of each of these sectors. Now I've purposely made the first one a bit easier. I've used a right angle here because you can see that this is a quarter of a circle. If I was to continue the circle on, because we know the angle around a point is 360, then 90 degrees, we can see it's a quarter of that. And you can just see if I chop the circle into four bits, that's just one quarter of it. Now, do we know how to find the area of a circle? Well, the area of a circle is just pi, remember pi is just a special number meaning 3.141 etc, um, times r squared. So it's pi times the radius r squared. And then we want to find a suitable fraction of that area because we're going to find the area of the whole circle and then just find a particular fraction of that. So for question one, if we find the area of the whole circle, it's pi, pi times the radius squared, 4 squared, and then what fraction of that circle do we want? Well, we said we have a quarter of it, so we find a quarter of pi times four squared, and to find a quarter of something, you just times it by a quarter or divide it by four. So we're gonna do a quarter times pi times four squared, and if we put that on our calculator, so a quarter times shift pi, the pi's at the bottom here on my calculator, times four squared, and my calculator said four pi. So it's given exact value, it's saying it's four lots of pi, and if we want it as a decimal, we just press the SD key, and it's given us 12.6 to three significant figures, and it's, this is centimeters, so the area will be centimeters squared. Now the second one here, the fraction of the circle is not quite so obvious. It's not like uh, half, it's kind of maybe uh, an eighth of a circle, or a tenth of a circle, something like that. Um, but we need some way to be able to find that without just guessing. Now think about it, to find the area before, we found the area of a full circle, which was just pi r squared, and then we found the suitable fraction of it. Now in this particular case, that fraction was a quarter of a circle, and why was it a quarter? because we divided that angle of 90 degrees there by 360, because it's 90 three sixtieths of a circle. So in general, if your angle was say uh, theta, theta is a Greek letter like that, we often use it for angles, it's gonna be theta three sixtieths of a full circle. So we do theta three sixtieths of times the full circle. So if I just draw that for your notes, we have an angle theta, and we have a radius r, and it's gonna find the area of that. So let's apply that formula here. We got feet over 360, feet is the angle at the center here of the circle, so it's 37 over 360, then we're timesing it by pi times r squared, so pi times the 5.2 squared, and then if we put that in our calculator, 37 3 sixtieths of a circle, and we're doing that fraction of a full circle, so pi times 5.2 squared, and that gives us 8.73 to three significant figures. And what's the unit? Well, this is meters, so the area is gonna be meters squared, and that is it.